I found this today. I miss you, my love. Hi, it's Alaska Granny. Welcome back to Granny Camp, my Alaska off-grid cabin. No running water, no electricity, but that's okay. I have solar light that I put in this year, which seems to be working pretty well. I have my oil lamps, candles, so it's raining. That's all right. I have my butane stove. Here's a very simple recipe for how to make a hamburger helper dish without any hamburger. Perhaps you don't have any meat on hand. You can't afford to buy more. Or you don't have a way to keep it cold, which is what I have going on here. So this is my take on how I make hamburger helper at my Alaska off-grid cabin on my little butane stove. It starts with two simple ingredients, a box of beef pasta skillet dinner. It can be the store brand, it can be hamburger helper, whatever you want. And here's the secret, a can of Hormel chili with no beans. It has a lot of sauce in it, but it has way more meat than say chili with beans. And so I use it sometimes in place of hamburger when I'm at my off-grid cabin. I also need two cups of water, a cup of milk and I'm using three cups of water and a serving of powdered milk. So you could put this all together and have it ready to prepare as an emergency meal. I think there's too much sauce in this and so I add a few extra handfuls of egg noodles. I have my ingredients ready to go in my teeny tiny kitchen. Let's light the butane stove. Then place your pot and we're ready to begin. Open your chili. Come out, chili. <laughs> Get the chili all heated through. This is going to give it a little different flavor than just the box of beef pasta skillet dinner, but that's okay. Do you see how there's so much meat in a can of chili with no beans? There's a lot of meat in there, and that's why this will work. The meat's all bubbly, so I'm going to add three cups of water. That's two cups that are required for the pasta skillet dinner and one cup of water to add to the powdered milk. Then we'll stir in the powdered milk. I like Nido Fortificata powdered milk. It doesn't last as long as non-fat dry milk, but I think it certainly tastes better. Now I'm going to open and add the beef flavored pasta skillet dinner. So it has a bag of pasta and a bag of seasoning. So here go the noodles sauce. Add any extra egg noodles now. You want to stir it all together, bring it to a boil, then put on a lid and turn it down to simmer for about 10 minutes. You can see the sauce is thickening up. It's coming to a boil. So I'm going to put on the lid and turn it down to simmer. Never walk away if you're using a butane stove. And pay attention that if you turn it down to simmer, that the flame stays lit. Doesn't that look good? See how simple that is? And it's delicious. And there you have it. A hamburger helper made with chili with no beans. I have the ambiance of my citronella candle and my USB rechargeable bug zapper out at granny camp on a nice rainy evening. Try this easy recipe. It's so simple to have a few ingredients in your prepper pantry. You could even set this aside in a Ziploc bag and you have a shelf meal that you could pull out and just put it together without having to worry about what's for dinner tonight. Try it. Let me know what you think of it. And if you have any other ideas on easy to make meals that we might all enjoy, leave it in the comments below so we can learn from each other. I hope you'll like my video, share my video, and please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel. Look, it's getting so cold out here, even though it's still summer. It's all steaming. Oh my gosh, this is good. Okay, do you see the steam? <laughs> it's cold in Alaska, even in the summer. Good.
Teddy, you ready for a bite? <laughs> this candle snuffer that I bought at Dollar Tree has turned out to be one of the handiest items that I found this year. It's harder to blow out something like a citronella candle and you don't want to risk blowing so hard that you splash some of the wax back in your face. So check it out. See if you can find one of these at Dollar Tree.